The Rise of SpaceX Elon Musk's Engineering Masterpiece When Elon Musk founded SpaceX in 2002, its mission was to provide reliable and affordable means of carrying payloads into space. Although it certainly has achieved this goal, the company has done so much more than just that, resulting in it becoming one of the fastest growing aerospace firms in history. Let's take a look at the rise of SpaceX, the man behind it, and why his efforts are important to not only the future of NASA, but also the safety of our planet's inhabitants. Excited to learn more about the aeronautical juggernaut SpaceX? Well, you're in luck, because today in our video, we'll tell you about the rise of Elon Musk's engineering masterpiece, SpaceX. How did a small private company make its way to the top of the competitive space industry food chain and beat giants like NASA on their way? Well, stick around as we answer this and more. Let's begin the video. SpaceX is changing how we get into space. As a private company, it launched its first Falcon 1 rocket in March 2006 and made history by becoming the first privately funded company to launch and recover a spacecraft from orbit on December 8, 2010. Now they're one step closer to realizing billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk's vision of creating reusable rockets that'll bring down costs and reduce reliance on foreign launchers. The company's feats are no less monumental. Let's take a look at just one of them. On February 6th, Falcon Heavy became the most powerful operational rocket in history. When Falcon Heavy launched a payload in 2018, it became capable of lifting in orbit over 54 metric tons, more than twice as much as NASA's now retired Saturn V moon rocket, and nearly three times that of its closest competitor, Delta IV Heavy. In August 2017, United Launch Alliance awarded a contract to SpaceX for two launches that would use leftover boosters from its workhorse Atlas V launch vehicle. Let's take a look at some of their biggest achievements to date. The birth of Falcon 1 started off with a bang, literally. The first stage exploded during a fueling test in 2005, killing two engineers and destroying a part of SpaceX's factory. Space startup failures are common, but given that Musk had already gone through one bankruptcy with PayPal, he was now under tremendous pressure to succeed. There were some dark days, Musk said in a recent interview. Fortunately for him, NASA still believed in his dream and gave him millions more dollars to try again. It took another five years before SpaceX successfully launched its first rocket, one designed for satellite launches rather than passengers in 2008. When things were finally looking up, something even worse happened. Spaceflight is ridiculously expensive, and a lot of startup companies and governments alike depend on government-owned companies like Array in Space or Roscosmos to get into space. But in early 2014, Russia invaded Ukraine's Crimea Peninsula. As part of its retaliatory sanctions, NASA was prohibited from working with Russian space companies such as NPO, Energomash, or Khrunchev State Research and Production Space Center, companies that launch 90% of also used rockets in orbit today. This means that if SpaceX wanted to continue sending satellites into orbit using its Falcon 9 rocket, it would have to face competition with only one company, Arane Space. The Falcon Heavy is basically three Falcon 9s strapped together, which makes it almost as big as a Saturn V, the largest rocket ever used to propel humans into space. The first stage boosters have 27 Merlin engines. If that sounds like a lot, that's because it is. The engine at a Boeing 747's tail has two engines. Each space shuttle main engine had four, yet it's all controlled by just one guy, Elon Musk himself, a man who isn't even an engineer. That alone gives me chills and shows how dedicated he is to his cause of sending mankind into outer space. We can't say we're surprised at how far SpaceX has come since it was first founded. In just a few years, they've managed to launch five rockets into space. One even managed to land back on Earth safely, the first rocket in history to do so. And speaking of landing, the BFR is a massive vehicle that is capable of transporting humans from Earth to Mars and back. The system will be powered by 31 Raptor engines, which provide up to 4.7 million pounds of thrust and are environmentally friendly, since they'll use methane rather than more expensive kerosene fuel. For faster travel between planets and during atmospheric re-entry, eight Super Draco engines will be used to provide additional thrust. Both propulsion systems can be operated independently or simultaneously when traveling in deep space or near a planet's surface. The BFR was designed to be reusable so that it can be refueled and sent back to space. 
To accomplish that, engineers have divided up its elements into three stages, a booster stage and spaceship stage for launch, an interplanetary booster stage for deep space travel, and an Earth entry spaceship for return to Earth. After launch, the booster will detach from the ship, allowing it to continue on towards Mars or other destinations. When it's time to return home, however, both stages will descend back through Earth's atmosphere using parachutes. The booster is expected to land vertically on a concrete pad near its launch site. Its subsequent reuse is also likely given recent upgrades made to the other SpaceX rocket stages. This is all well and good, but we still haven't asked the most pertinent question yet that may ultimately decide everything. What is the future of space exploration under SpaceX? Think about it for a while, but while you think, do subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive instant notification about all our future videos. The Space Launch System SLS will be NASA's most powerful rocket ever built. Able to launch payloads that weigh up to 130 tons and travel at speeds in excess of 25,000 miles per hour. After decades without a way to propel heavy objects into space, NASA has finally started building its newest rocket. Reusable rockets are necessary for reducing costs and increasing safety as far as travel is concerned. For example, it takes $10,000 worth of fuel to put one pound into low Earth orbit. Once you get there, you want your vessel to be able to return home safely. With reusable rockets, you can save $10,000 for every pound that gets put into low Earth orbit. While it might be hard to envision a future where spaceships are cheap and reliable enough to send people in bulk rather than one at a time, current technology shows great promise. Commercial space travel is about to revolutionize how we travel, and not just for those wanting to visit outer space. As entrepreneurs start private companies such as SpaceX and Virgin Galactic, we can expect more innovation in private spaceflight over the next decade or so than we've seen in decades. More companies will pop up soon that offer private flights into space. They may even succeed with reusable rockets before NASA does. With affordable private space travel, we'll begin to see big changes in our daily lives. We might start living on man-made floating cities in international waters. Private space stations may start being built and operated, at least initially, by entrepreneurial companies that run them as a service. More businesses will likely hold conferences in space than on Earth as we learn about how to operate up there. Ultimately, if private companies provide transportation into low Earth orbit for tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars per person, like trips around a full gravity turn currently cost, many people will choose to become space tourists or even relocate their homes permanently in much greater numbers than before. Elon Musk was just 24 when he started the company and he devoted all of his energies to seeing it succeed. He lived in the same rented office that served as his company's headquarters, sleeping on a futon couch and showering at the local YMCA, which was cheaper than renting an apartment explained from there. He went on to found PayPal, Tesla, and ultimately SpaceX. All eyes will be on him and his aerospace company in the coming years to see exactly how he manages to change the world. So are you excited to see SpaceX take us into the future? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to watch more of our amazing videos, then stay tuned.